Hello everyone, my name is Hiroki Ago. I'm associate professor at the Institute for Materials Chemistry and Engineering, Kyushu University, Japan. Today I'm going to talk about catalytic growth of graphene with the aim to develop large area single crystalline graphene. Since graphene was first prepared in 2004, there have been increased interest in applications such as flexible displays, high frequency transistors, integrated circuits, and sensors. These applications require high quality graphene film, and now chemical vapor deposition, CBD is actively studied because it enables a large area graphene growth with relatively low cost. In the CBD, kappa is now widely used as a catalyst because it assists the growth of uniform single layer graphene. Methane molecules supplied at high temperatures are decomposed on the copper surface, then diffuse and form single layer graphene. Even if you can make a large area graphene film, the CBD graphene is polycrystalline. That is, the film consists of a number of small graphene domains with different orientations. The presence of domain boundaries limits physical properties of graphene, giving reduced carrier mobility and mechanical strength. We want this single crystalline structure, which is free from domain boundaries. There are two approaches to synthesize single crystalline graphene. One to make very large graphene domains. These SEM images show the development of graphene domains with the reaction time. Large hexagonal graphene domains on copper surface begin to merge and make a continuous film. So making these graphene domains as large as possible is an important step. This is our novel approach. We use single crystal metal oxides and deposit crystalline metal film by sputtering. These metal films are applied to epitaxial CBD growth of graphene. This approach enables us to control the orientation of graphene hexagons. Recently, we investigated crystal plane dependent domain structure of CBD graphene using kappa 111 and kappa 100 films. In this study, the observation of graphene domain is very important. We measure low energy electron microscope limb to analyze the domain structure, especially to identify the orientation of graphene. From the limb image, there are two main orientations, blue and green area of the graphene grown on kappa 100. They are rotated 30 degrees. On the other hand, Graphene on kappa 111 shows uniform orientations. What is really important is how to match the symmetry between kappa and graphene as shown in these models. Furthermore, when domains with different or orientations meet, they should keep the domain boundary. So our work highlights the importance of crystal plane on the development of single crystalline graphene. Large area single crystal graphene avoids many of the problems of domain boundaries such as reduced charge carrier mobility and mechanical strength. It may be also possible to alter the electronic conditions of graphene by applying mechanical strain and this has particular applications where a band gap is required such as photovoltaics or transistors. By transferring graphene onto a flexible substrate, such as this PDMS rubber, we can investigate the effect of strain both on the graphene lattice and the electronic structure. Transparent flexible electrodes such as this are necessary for applications such as flexible displays and touchscreens.